Hello. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> Just kidding. We're back <laughs> with another Sunday night for Ben Lands Dark of Hot Springs Island. It was a somber tone last session. We didn't play last week, but uh, we did. We did lose one. We lost our first um, to death. We did lose. Um, we did lose Paige before that, um, mm -hmm. but we actually lost someone to uh, being stabbed through the heart <laughs> last time. <laughs> Literally. Uh, so we'll get to a recap. Not much happened other than Evan died. I killed Evan. Um, and then we'll get to playing and, and, and learn about Evan's new character. So let's start things off. Jen, what do you got yeah. going on? I am terrified because Matt's let us in on a little secret about being able oh. to randomly make characters like, like that in the middle of a game. So he's going to play it fast oh, and loose with our, wait. with our mm -hmm. lives. Um, my name is Jen. I stream as Jen Tendo. I do Animal Crossing every morning, uh, but really it's a guy, it's like all a ruse so that I can play my automaton and play lots of really terrible slash amazing music. Um, today I'm playing Xena, who is a fighter who isn't very good at fighting because she basically just watched uh, Calvair get stabby stabbed and murdered like a billion times and then stood up and immediately went down again um <laughs> after threatening our tiny rock friend with death um is, is what i recall happening so we'll see how that goes uh we'll see how that goes i did nothing to help i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> well you got down to like round one round I did. one because of my poor rolls on, on who goes but you first. did <laughs> you owned a dire boar the week before and i think that got you all a little you know you're 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 a little brave, a little braver than you. Oh, hell. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the word you're looking for. I, I wanna I wanna draw attention to the fact that last week when we saw these guys, I was like, we could reason with them. And I felt as though I was fighting against the tide of the group, and I was like, fuck it, let's fight. And that's when we died. <laughs> well <laughs> that's when it got really bad. We'll get to it. Well, you know, Klein's kind of a little bit to blame here. Well, we'll yeah, get I mean it. if we'll Klein get didn't get caught, this would have never happened. Uh oh, yeah, exactly. with so many fingers being pointed oh my god In fighting. it's true he's so yeah. sad it's his so fault you're being pointed all right evan do you want to well, hold off introducing your character because we'll do it in game yeah you wanna do it that way that. yeah okay you got anything else going on that you want to plug though uh not really um but if you do i think the vods up of our simbrum game right if anyone needs to watch yeah. that or look at the ruins of simbrum fifth edition um that kickstarter's i think about to finish this week so if you want to look at an actual play we ran that last tuesday and yeah um, so you guys YouTube can check channel. it out and see the end of the adventure that um Here, I'll, I'll anybody can play it. that's free i'll link it in the chat that's true evan graciously ran ruins of simbroom for us um the last couple weeks here on the channel uh which is currently on kickstarter so yeah if you want to see it in action it's simbroom using 5e and i got really excited because i have not played 5e in a long time i'm not you know the biggest 5e guy and i was really really impressed by what i saw so uh yes tyler how are you <laughs> i'm okay i'm uh doing well um i'm excited to uh play a very sad boy who uh <laughs> just uh, wants to try to keep his friends alive uh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. they keep uh, not being alive um but for myself, uh, I am a uh, foolish GM, and I do some tabletops. I've done some tabletop on here prior on this lovely channel, um, playing Vason, and I just started working on my own RPG uh, called Law and Honor Spirits and Curses Unit, and I'll be playing that, running it uh, this Friday, so that should be pretty fun. That's my main thing going on on my channel. Um, so cool. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. All right, you're gonna have us on there. We we'll get to play it. Yeah. Oh, I can play Calvair, the resurrected. As long as, yeah. I get... <laughs> as long as I get to be Jerry Arbach, that's all I want, Tyler. You know that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jerry Arbach, and um, Bill gets to be Paul Servino. <laughs> Beautiful. We're going old school. All right, Bill, what do you got going on? I mean, you have like 30 seasons of characters to pick from. For that, so. <laughs> 
we're going seasons uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Uh, I'm playing Ernie the Haunted. Uh, you can find me here playing this every week with these lovely people. Um, apparently, I decided to save Klein last week and run away while Calvair was being stabbed to death. Um, so I guess uh, Ernie has certainly picked favorites at this point. <laughs> Not that there's anyone left to know that he picked favorites there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I I am haunted in that you can chat with me through um, paying to a little oh. bit of channel points to send a message to uh, our King Matt in Tyler's character's <laughs> coffin. And uh, yeah, I will react to it and I will be the only one who can hear what you're saying. So you get to make my character look like an absolute buffoon talking to the air. Yes. And how do you get channel points? Well, that's a good question, Bill. You get channel points just by tuning in, by watching anything here on this channel. Not just this. If you tuned in for Evan's Ruins of Simbaroom last week, if you tuned in for any of the other fabulous games we have running on here, we consistently have Coriolis every week with um, GM Millie, or Millie the GM, sorry. We have the Defenders Kobold doing um, Forbidden Lands. We have the Lollygaggers doing Tales from the Loop. Uh, and a whole bunch of other wonderful guests that are uh, making an appearance here this month in May. So watch any of their stuff. You get channel points. They're free. Not not running you down for shaking you down for money here. Um, but if you want to give it, yeah, I won't say no. Uh, <laughs> all right. So what happened last session? Last session, I'm trying to think. What did you all encounter before the fight? Is that what you saw? The big the dragon thing, right? The spine, the spine dragon. Is that what? It was? Yeah, oh, that was the. Game that was before. a session before for some was reason. It? Oh, maybe it was. I... Well, I thought we, we we all we literally were doing was trying to leave the boar. We did the ogre thing, got a bunch yeah, of we... magic we weapons and items. Why do I have splinter written down? Did we get a rat? You got a rat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I got a rat that. baby. I had a rat. Baby. Oh, yeah, we yeah, killed the giant here's, rat. here's what happened. We sent the we went back to the ogre camp and we sent all of the ogres to go get the dire boar. Right. And we got a bunch of magic items and that ate a fair amount of the session. There's also a caravan in the mm -hmm. um visiting the, yeah, the visiting village. the ogres. Mm -hmm. We did a, about ten minutes of shopping before you decided, yeah, let's not do a shopping episode. Uh, so we <laughs> moved on with our lives and quickly went a across a couple squares to go get uh calvair stabbed in the heart well you I promised calvair to to an ogre woman as well <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> to deliver calvair and we were and trying he, to get to the old lady's place he looked around thinking he had friends and there were none as <laughs> well, he fell on the floor I interestingly enough this all boils down to klein not paying attention while scouting yeah, so, so exactly. You, you did make contact with the ogre outpost that was in this hex. You did go there first and you spoke to them. Um and they had like all kinds of um rampart or they had all sorts of spikes with sal dead salamanders hanging off it. And then and then you decide to carry on and keep looking around this hex. And that's when Calvair, RIP, Calvair, um made his what was it? Lead the way roll? Pathfinding roll? <laughs> I made my role, the but, other but guy. But Klein, made unfortunately, did not, make other a, guy. did not make a scouting role. And he was caught off guard. He was caught by surprise by a couple of salamanders. And they took him to this big bone pile, this big, massive pile of bones. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. humanoid mm -hmm. uh, creatures and critters, ogres, you name it. It's just a pile of bones. They, they didn't discriminate. Everything's thrown on there. There was also posts set up in this little clearing where this bone pile was. And there was, like, dead critters creatures people hanging on there just kind of like the, the flesh was decomposing off them animals are coming kind of eating it off and they're preparing them to throw them on this bone pile as well and there's a number of salamanders there it looked like they're they kind of go there and you know you don't know what they do but they took klein they tied him up and you said we got to save our friend we can't let klein not our be, baby boy klein be eaten <laughs> by these salamanders or what or have his flesh ripped off and thrown on a bone pile i think it's called the bone tree wasn't it no, it's a it's a bone pile. A bone tree is something else in this hex, which you might already have filled oh. in. Is that filled in on your? We guide? yeah, it was filled in. Mm. Yeah, so this is not the bone tree. This is the bone pile. There's two bone oh. things on one on HSO two. Too many bones. All the bones. <laughs> oh, that's no <laughs> We're all the bones. Mm. All right, so Klein, you got captured, 
<laughs> and I think Xena, like you just jumped out of a tree and into the fight, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I did because that I thought I wanted to negotiate, and then I was like, mm, everybody else wants to fight. Let's fight. And so these were the salamanders. Well, these weren't the same that. salamanders, but these were salamanders that you'd faced previously. You got rid of them with with booze because they're known to kind of like be obsessed yeah. with food and alcohol. And you didn't have the alcohol this time to really sway the conversation because they had one of your guys and you wanted him back. So you charged in there. Uh, Ernie snuck around mm-hmm. to go rescue his his uh, protege, <laughs> his paddle Thank one. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh xena got downed turn one with what it was to the hand or the foot to start it was first to the foot took it wound to the foot and just ah incapacitated you you're like Uh, oh i could see between my foot (laughs) collapse straight through my foot oh no calvair ran in there and he he held them off for as long as he could i don't know five six turns uh xena did get back up at one point uh um, so he shouted at craig <laughs> and yeah craig came over and helped you you got up and then you took another wound to the hand one of your hands is useless yeah. right now it's got a heal uh and ernie and klein disappeared into the woods they got they got away and you guys i don't know you got to regroup now don't you because some of you on one side of the camp and others are on the east side klein or klein and ernie on the west side of the camp and craig and xena are on the the east side of the camp. Yeah. And Calvera is dead. He is now hanging from one of those posts oh, in the bone pile. Oh, oh. They've, they've tied him up. They've started oh. cutting off strips of flesh to start the, oh, the proceedings. No. no. Uh, and he is now he's not hanging. His belongings are sitting in a pile in the camp. Uh, if you remember, he did have some magic items. He had some good stuff. He had some magic. They're sitting in a bundle in a pile in the camp. They've been put aside. Oh, I got a, I got my first King Matt message coming here from Aaron. Oh. Uh, so before we introduce Evan's character, let's let's decide what is Xena, Klein, and Ernie. What do you want to do? So you're kind of divided. I'm gonna say you laid low. Like darkness has set in. There was kind of anarchy in the in the Salamander camp. Uh, where they're running around, they're trying to figure out what's going on, they got attacked, they took you down, they're all excited now that they killed Calvera, and they're stringing him up. They've sent scouts into the bush trying to look for you, but I'm going to say you all kind of just use your actions just to get away. Just get out of there. Okay. Should we go looping around looking for uh, Craig, rescue our little elemental friends from the clutches of doom, so to speak? Klein says he's like, "Yeah, we gotta find Xena. We can't. Uh, we gotta regroup." And uh, Klein, I think Xena's dead, but we should probably help. Uh, uh, he's help like, "Don't elemental. say that. No, we can't. Losing one friend was enough, and I can't lose two. <laughs> Ernie, you hear from the, the you hear from the sarcophagus. He goes, hey, Ernie, why is Calvair?" shooting daggers out of his eyes at you right now hmm? Hmm? yeah i think you uh is that you what you do for your friends happened. you just leave them behind like that is that what you're gonna do to, is that what you're gonna do to Cl- is that what you're gonna do to old klein here oh, no but I. I could possibly do it to king matt well, king matt's riffing <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> all right <laughs> So the two of you want to go back and you want to try and see if you can find Xena. I'm going to say on your way back, like you're going to give it, a, I'm assuming you're going to give this camp a wide berth. Like you're staying. Oh yeah. No, we're far we're away from around. It. You know where it is. And like, like you're on a big hex. So you've got a lot of room to move around. Like you don't have to pass through it to go through this hex. You know where it is. It's like on the Southern tip of it. You don't have to go into it. Um, yeah. So two of you are heading back. Xena, you and Craig. Craig's very worried about you. He's doing his best to tend to you, but he's there's not like he goes and he looks for food to give you, and he just comes back with like little armfuls of piles of pebbles and rocks that he drops at your feet. Oh, feed them to me, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> feed them to me, Craig. Spoon so, them into my mouth. Oh, baby bird, <laughs> me, okay. Craig. Uh, oh, I mean, it technically, would be dust at that point because he yeah, crushed them up and then. Eat it. Oh my god. Oh man. Um. 
I I would be like, I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad, Craig. Is there any way you could try to heal me? Again. Again. I can't use my hand or my foot. <laughs> says, well, I could, I could try. I don't know. Oh. Where's our little water friend? Uh, he's, with he's with Klein. Klein. Okay. He likes Klein. He hangs on Klein. He's kind of sitting on Klein's yeah. shoulder all the time. Yeah. I check my baby rat. It's still okay. Yes, Splinter's <laughs> all right. Splinter's not dead. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank goodness. I was really worried. He got two successes. <gasps> Hooray. No, but that doesn't speed up your healing time. Nope. Oh. So your hand is still useless. <laughs> so what, do you remember what it was for your hand and what it was for? I think your foot was six days, wasn't it? And the hand was less. Like six and three or something? The foot, something I like that. I think the foot was six days. Uh, yeah, I think the foot was six days and the hand was... I can't find it. That's okay. Oh, man. It was just bad. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was real bad. It was just bad. Let's just say let's just say six days for the bunch, because why not, right? Well, six, Well, I think six and three is, is fair. Okay. Six and three, because uh, it'll, uh, I think your hand will be back after three days, because that was the one okay. that we rolled second, and I remember it was shorter. So you can use two-handed weapons again after three days. Okay. But your foot, you're going to, like, your foot, your slow action is going to be moving in combat now yeah. until that heals, mm -hmm. which sucks for a, a fighter. That does suck. I'm just going to ride on Crag into battle. So I mean... <laughs> just this little, like three foot little uh, stone guy. I mean, with me on his shoulders, I, he, I mean, I'm normal height at that point. So he, he is strong. He is. I'm just going to, I get on his shoulders and I'm like, Craig, I I'm you're, you're my mount now. <laughs> He, you're, are you on his shoulders? And he's just kind of like, uh, he's like not very balancing very well. And he's kind of like going this way and that you're back great, and Craig. forth. You're doing great, Craig. Okay, just don't drop me. I've never really done this before. You're great. Where are we going? We're going to try and find, uh, I mean, we Calvary's dead. And like. What? Yeah. I watched it happen. And you dragged me away. And he's going to die knowing that I left him to die. <laughs> I don't think he liked <laughs> me very forever. much anyways. That's sad. You know, though. I don't think he did either, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> let's use that as motivation to get better at carrying me. So <laughs> <laughs> right. let's go find Klein and Ernie. Let's go find Klein and Ernie and King Matt. Where do you think they are? Well, I saw them on the other side of the camp. So maybe if we take like a wide berth to avoid the camp itself, let's sort of cut down and around. Why don't you all make me scouting rolls? And this is where you get caught by lizard folk again. <laughs> In this right. economy, I got two successes. All right. So Xena's, oh. Xena's good. Xena's keeping away. Ooh. Nice. There's two of you. Love to see it. Let's see Ernie. Let's see Ernie's run. See <laughs> the dead guy. It all started with, with this. It all began with this. <laughs> oh. Just do a big circle and go back to the camp. Do hey, I need Ashley. to... I, oh, can I push it? not liking that. What is going on here? There we go. Oh, Ooh, nice. Love it. Uh -oh. Love it. Does anybody want to push I... that roll? Oh. I already have so much damage to my wits right now. Oh my god. Love it. Oh no. All right. I'll, yep. I'll push it. I'll have to. Love oh. it. I love it. I love it. Give yourself Damn willpower. It. Oh, I lose another point of wits. My other thing. So Clyde looks like I got my dead brain. Three willpower and lost three wits. Correct. Two oh, you just got two, two willpower. Two. All right. Um. Okay. Evan. A.K. Ren. Let's jump to you. Not my character's name. That's okay. What? Why did I see Ren on there? And I have Ren on the overlay. Where did I get Ren from? I think it was like the first character I made that was okay. like before. I'll change it. Even it's better of a surprise. It's That's like right. Even you more surprising. Ren. What's your character's name? Ren. Fury. Ren. <laughs> It'd be Ren. funny. For, yeah, yeah. Fury. Fury. <laughs> Fury. Okay. Fury. <laughs> All right. So Fury, you're in an area you're on a small hill overlooking the coast and on this hill there's a massive massive dead tree it's got a huge 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 old branches its trunk is like like six feet wide in diameter this thing is insane 
And it's covered in thick loops of vine. And there's large white bones scattered all around it. Why don't you go ahead and describe your character to everybody here? These guys don't see you yet. You're on your own. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Fury is an old wolfkin. He has white and kind of gray hair. He has piercing blue eyes. Um, he has a lot of scars, um, either from fighting creatures or running away. Like He's definitely uh, battle-hardened from living on this island. Um, he has kind of like a dark blue leather vest with like a series of like holsters for a bunch of daggers that he carries. Um, he also has a backpack and he, he looks like the kind of guy, you know, you'd see like, he looks like Bear Grylls. Like he is like a survivalist, you know, like he has like everything that you would need to like live on your own. He's kind of like that kind of um, vibe you get from him. We only acknowledge Survivor Man in Canada. Mm. Less Strahd. <laughs> That's also a question on the Canadian citizenship test. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so do you live here or how did you get here? How, or how long uh, have yeah, you been he, here? He has lived here for some time. There's a block in his memory where something has happened to him. I'm not going to say it, but um, he was here. Something happened and now he's been kind of stuck here ever since. Mm. And just kind of just doing his best to just survive on his own, you know, and not cause too much attention. Okay. So you're in this, you're in this area, this bone tree, if you will, area. What do you do? What do you want to do here? You've just kind of come upon it. Okay. You've never been here before. This is an unusual sight to you. Uh, can I look to see if... I sense any like danger from the tree itself. Cause it, like, does it like, you know, does the branches attack people or something? Like does it look like they're moving, like something unnatural about the tree. If like the bones are around the tree. They're scattered about the area, but I'll go ahead and let you make a insight roll. Insight. Okay. Insight. Hmm. I'm not pushing that. <laughs> Smart. He just falls unconscious. <laughs> New um, character. So you didn't pass, you. You didn't pass I'm it. here so, for the adventure. Passes out. <laughs> so you're kind of taking in the area. You're trying to. You're studying it, and you don't see any rhyme or reason or pattern. The bones all look to be of various age. They do, though. Even with your failed roll, they all look to be ogre bones. That's mm. one thing that you do determine. Mm. You don't need to be. Uh, <laughs> very insightful to see that they're really large humanoid you see a skull and it's an ogre uh is there any sort of like uh like the maybe if i think this is like a grave site or something is there any indication of like names or anything that could be like attributed nope. to some of them no not at all hmm. well, and there are various he's... age that's the other thing too it looks it doesn't look like they're fresh all of them are fresh is that there are various age these bones and I know we're like out of ogre territory now. Um, no, you're not out of ogre territory. Okay, so it could be possible. Because you, the, yeah, because there are ogres on this hex. You, the other group ran into them last week. It's an, there's another outpost on this hex. So you do know that ogres do roam in here. Uh, this is kind of like the front lines for the ogres and the salamanders, where they butt heads. Yeah, I guess I'll go take a closer look and see. I'm not gonna like desecrate anything, but. I'll like investigate more of the tree than the bones. Okay. Yeah. You, um, you start to uh, approach the tree cautiously. I take it. And as you do so, you see the branches and the vines all start to move and slither down on the ground mm. and they start wrapping around bones all around you. And mm. as it does, so it starts to bring them together and hold them up and it creates an ogre skeleton standing in front of you like a full-size ogre skeleton that these vines have picked up and pieced together and is holding up it to you and they you can hear super safe this 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 low booming voice come from the tree hello who are you my friend um my name is a fury what are you doing here? I I I was just uh 
looking around. I, 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 I don't mean to disturb any kind of like, not like backs away, but he kind of like, you know, looks like he's might try and walk away. And he raises an arm and I hold a hand. No, no, please don't go. Do you have any stories you can tell me? Oh, I I can't read. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Xena, as Craig's mm-hmm. putting you on his shoulders and jogging you through the, the jungle, you come upon a clearing and you see this. You see mm-hmm. this wolfkin communicating with this big, massive, three-dimensional ogre skeleton being held up by vines and animated by the vines also. Like, you see its arm go out and, like, kind of stop. They're in conversation. You can kind of hear what they're saying. I look through my field guide. There is nothing in my field guide about there, this. There is nothing in your field guide. Very confused. Um, I say, Craig, that looks like fun. Let's go see what's up. But I don't know where Klein is. <laughs> he shrugs, and as he does, he kind of like lifts you up. Ah, Craig, <laughs> just, no. <laughs> just like bounces happily into the clearing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you can hear behind you the sound. All of a sudden, you hear rustling behind you, Ren, or Ren, Fury. And you turn around and you see a woman being carried on the shoulders of an earth elemental. Oh, this is getting weird. <laughs> no idea. Uh, he'll turn around and he kind of looks at the skeleton and then looks back and then looks at the skeleton. Um, ha- 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 hello. So are you two friends? Uh, we just met. Can still be friends. Um, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, <laughs> what is happening with that guy? Uh, he uh, wants to talk to me. What's his name? I don't know. We didn't get that far. You He's your kind friend. of kind of How interrupted you my <laughs> you you kind of interrupted my my story. And... But he's your friend. What? Okay. I, I ask you... him, what's your name? I don't have a name. See, now he doesn't that you, have a name. Now that you ask, what's your name? My name's Zena. You should get a name. Let's think of a name. Mm. Hmm. Um, he, you see the skeleton like walks, shuffles aside. It like reaches down. The, the, again, the vines are controlling. It grabs a, a, a big log and pulls it over and puts it down. Would please take a seat. He's so I... polite. Okay. And he kind of sits down cross-legged on the ground in front of you and this big massive ogre skeleton covered in vines. Uh, as you're sitting there, uh, Klein and Ernie, you're you're arguing, the two of you. Uh, you're like, oh, we should have taken a left back there. We should have taken a right. No, no, we should have gone this way. And you just like, Xena and uh, Fury, you hear this and you see these two bumbling through the jungle carrying a sarcophagus they're completely oblivious to the two of you and what's going on there but they are not stealthy whatsoever (laughs) those are my friends i know their names because they're my friends the entire time yes yeah this is a little too much socialization for me in one day it's like a dad and a son arguing (laughs) about directions I hail them. I say, Ernie, Klein, we just lost a friend. I have a new one, two new ones oh. I found with what, my good what, scouting uh, rolls. What you doing over there, Zena? Talking to some kind of tree dude? Yeah, I think that's his name, is Tree Dude. Klein it sees the moving bones. Him. Yeah, I would be like, does someone know how to, we could how do you do the, how do you resurrect somebody we need then we can bring back calvair right if we just ask this guy like hey how do you how do you get your bones moving after you died <laughs> you see the the hands like raised and they kind of clap clasp together he goes oh is that a riddle i love riddles <laughs> clyde's like no the <laughs> question <laughs> no, we we would we would like to know how you're doing this. Yeah, we're interested in magic. Um, I've always been able to do this. I, I it's no magic. Are you the bones or the vines? I suppose I'm the vines. If oh, I... okay, interesting. Daddy. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> he says, do you like riddles? What's your name? I'm Klein. The, I'm Klein. Pleasure this to meet King you, Klein. Matt. He holds out a big skeletal <laughs> ogre hand to shake your hand. Klein um, holds his staff up to so he can catch it and shake with that. Like with both hands, so he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm just not going to introduce myself to him." <laughs> this I, is master. I is all like Klein I... says. I'm just going to start walking around, inspecting the tree, seeing what the heck is going on. Sure, you start like circling the tree, and the tree's dead, right? The 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 uh, the stump or like the the base of it, all the branches, is a dead tree, and these vines that are coming down that seem to be animating it. And there's bones scattered everywhere, but he's made a perfect skeleton out of the bones that are lying there. Uh, Fury will start to like kind of try to back away and like sneak away as they're distracted by the. <laughs> You're just gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, you can roll your stealth or whatever to get out of there if you want. I mean, I don't want roll. Like they can like notice if you want. Like he's just All like right. you know using the distraction of like, oh look at this bone tree, and he's like, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> sure, you so you kind of start backing away. Klein he turns, he goes, Do you want to hear a riddle? Klein's like Yes. <laughs> the more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Footprints. <laughs> he starts clapping. <laughs> I like you. He puts his arm, his skeletal arm around you, reaches around you. Clyde's happy. And that's when he sees, like, uh, Fury. He's like, hey, where are you going? I'm going to yell, well done, Klein. I was going to say helpings of dinner. He said, he goes, I'll tell you what. I've got lots of treasure. Do you want to get something for me? And I'll give you some of my treasure. Okay. What do you consider treasure? You see one of the uh, one of the big vines slither down from the tree, and there's like a a, a bush uh, right at the base of the tree, and it pulls this like bush that's obviously covering something up. It kind of pulls it aside, and you see there's like a, tr a chest behind it, and you can see like the lids open, and there's like gold spilling out of it, and jewelry, and looks like there's a helmet sitting on top, and a sword poking out, and then the vine slithers back, and the pff, the bush goes flings back and it's like right up against the base of the tree uh fury's eyebrow will raise and he'll say do you have something that helps you kill people who use magic <laughs> you see the the skeleton puts his hand to his chin and starts like doing that thinking motion tapping his chin i don't believe so why mm. do you want to kill something with magic I don't think I always looked like this. Someone changed me. Oh, that's terrible. Is that uh, just a general anybody with magic there, Fury? Or uh, you, uh, uh, you have somebody specific in mind? I think I remember her. She's quite ugly. <laughs> Uh oh crazy that... gray hair and very tall is she an ogre i think she might have been oh that's probably the old lady that knows the <laughs> dark magic i cannot wait to kill her oh oh uh <laughs> that's, that's so great. you know where she is then. uh Clyde looks to his master <laughs> says, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at uh, Clyde and go <laughs> it seems like you both know where she is Clyde would trying. then go no I do not <laughs> that is not even convincing at all we we have an idea where she is but we need something from her before you kill her that is fine. I'm sure she won't remember me. Uh, she, she, okay. I'll tell you what. You help us get what we need from her, um, and we'll let you do whatever you need to with with her. I'm interested. We'll show you where she is. That sounds like a plan. Great. Well, Clint's like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> the the big oh, skeletons she... just stand there. It's like, what about me? I want to know what what kind of a thing he wants us to do, or it wants us to do. To you get see, treasure. You see him kind of like put his hands together again. The bones crack. He goes, I'm totally ready for adventure. <laughs> Bring me back the bottled laughter of a newborn. <laughs> uh, Chuckles. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I'm going to look for the base of the vine. <laughs> take my, uh, take my uh, spear wait, out. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We still have the water sprite with us, correct? Yeah. Yeah. The water sprite technically is only like a couple days old. But oh. can it can it laugh? I <laughs> think that it, it has laughed before. Because whenever it was devious and it's like, watch this. And it turned everything to water. It was yeah. devious. What? So, but, but how, do you, how are you going to bottle its laughter? Do I have a bottle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll make it laugh into water. I mean, it's yeah. basically water already. Uh, you guys are funny. Uh, Clyde what do you mean will, we're funny? <laughs> Klein would hold up his water canteen and be like, "Do you, do you want to go in here and, and laugh a bunch?" What? <laughs> I was not gonna put him in what? the bottle. What? No, don't, no, don't put me in there. I don't want to go in the bottle. No, 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 no I don't want to do that. Oh, Klein, okay. I thought we were buddies. Why would you do that to me? We, can you uh, we are buddies. Can you laugh yeah. into the bottle? Can, to the he just holds up this. The bottle's like the size of Hammer's beer. He's like, ha, 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 ha. just laughing. <laughs> Cap it really quickly. And I say, you just saw it. This is local from Sprite to table laughter uh-huh. from a newborn. Newborn. Organic. Sprite. He reaches <laughs> out. He goes, vegan. He takes the popper. Boop. And he holds up. No laughter. Let it escape. No oh laughter. <laughs> I want to hear you capture the laughter. We need to be able to press to digitate laughter into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you look at that Klein and Ernie, and there's like, no, we're not that kind of mage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right laugh. Now. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. This, no. this, this seems stupid. <laughs> All right. This seems stupid. Well, come back anytime you like. If you find that bottled newborn laughter for me, bring it back and I'll give you some treasure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> am i able to find the base of the uh vine uh the vines are like wrapped up and in and around the top of the tree branches what are you about to do <laughs> there's oh, the, the base the, the base would be like way up in the tree ah uh, so it didn't grow out of the ground no it's not out of the ground tree. okay well darn it my murder hoboness <laughs> won't work here. Oh my god, I have one foot and one hand. Come on, man. TPK. <laughs> yeah, she looks pretty hurt. Oh yeah, can I? Since oh, yeah. we're together, can I? Can I do a healing check? Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty hurt. <laughs> this is the first time the two of you have seen Xena since the fight. Yeah, and she yeah, she's like, like a hole right through her hand, Klein's right like, through her foot. Uh, you guys please really. Let me... Let me help her you. Injuries. I feel like she's being very neglected about her current situation. <laughs> I'm very sorry. The the talking skeleton vine man Not yet, uh, me confused too. me. You guys <laughs> also you. seem in very good spirits for losing your friend. It, Clyde's like, why would you stop? I've Where never seen so him? much laughter starts, surrounding me crying. for someone who just She's lost like, a friend. Let my, let my salt, let my tears help. Fix your wounds, and he tries to bandage you up. Oh my god! Uh, it does. A, I'll do, I'll do a healing check, I guess. I guess. About that, Zena. I noticed during combat. I only saw oh, a little bit of it well, before I ran away. I'll um, it. You know, I, oh, it's it's a lovely shit. leather skirt you're wearing, but might it be more appropriate to find, you know, maybe full armor? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I anyway. have I have pretty good armor. It's just my rolls were terrible. I mean, what do you, what my, do you mean I, by I rolls? Neg- I, I read don't negative books. I read negative books apparently on. <laughs> I can't read able, books. Are you either. able to swing your um, axe right now? No, I am not. I have a long sword though. 
I, do I get, I can, can you use that with one hand? Because I, I have a short sword, sword that you could take. I can use my long sword with one hand. Fair enough. Do so I roll healing for each wound or just do one healing roll for both? Well, so technically healing, you can only use healing skill when the person's broken. Oh. Technically. So Xena's no longer oh. broken. Um, wants, so oh. like healing rolls aren't going to help her any further. She needs magic she or she needs cool. to rest. So and yeah, I once when you're broken, you can use the healing skill, and that gets them back. Like she bounced back in in combat, got back up. She was technically still broken at the beginning of, the, of this session, and that's why I allowed right. um, Crag right, to roll for her. She's no she's no longer broken at this point. So your your rolls will not help. So don't push them. Don't hurt yourself. Awesome. Um, I will retract. <laughs> <laughs> rewind. Hey, uh, Mr. Vine Skeleton Creature. Um, yeah, he's like, sta- like you guys are all standing there talking to one another, and he's just like standing over you listening. Just like would, uncomfortably Would we close. be safe to spend an evening here and uh, kind of lick our wounds of our loss? Maybe um, share some stories about Calvair and... Uh, Who's Calvair? Should I know uh, you'll, you'll hear lots if we'll be safe to uh, spend the night here. He nods his head. Okay, only if you tell me lots of stories. Yeah, who wants to tell their worst story about Calvair first? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one time I watched Calvair die right in front of me. <laughs> that is very traumatic. All right, yeah. so you you want to make camp here and uh, hunker down and get back to full dice and everything? Is the plan? Uh-huh. It seems appropriate. What do you guys think? I feel yeah. great. <laughs> Klein's I... like, oh, I have a really bad headache. <laughs> do you think Fury, you up to anything right now? You want to hang out with us for a while? Uh, you are all very strange, but I guess I can help. Um, do you, you hear? Want, do you want to meet a king? <laughs> King, King Matt, yeah, King Matt says to, to Ernie, he goes, hey, hey, Ernie, there's something going on with those vines. I bet. I wonder, I wonder if you, if you take them, maybe there's, maybe there's some special properties to them Maybe cut, cut one off and maybe use it to heal Xena. Let's find out. Me? No. No, he's saying, the King Matt's saying <laughs> to Ernie. I know. I'm, just... I'm, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to look at um, the casket and I'm just going to walk over to it and I'm going to whisper into it so I don't look completely nuts. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should, you know, maybe have a safe, quiet night before we decide to, you know, pick yet another enemy that's going to stomp us into the floor. <laughs> the ogre skeleton tree man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the camera goes, all right, well, maybe, maybe when we leave in the morning. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I can who, talk to it over the night and see if it has any ability to heal as well. Who are you talking to? It seems like you're <laughs> talking to nothing. Don't show him. He's talking to the that. box. I turn around and I, I say to Fury, I do that a lot. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I feel like I've made a grave mistake. And he kind of walks off. While, while you're talking, um, the ogre is walking around <laughs> and it's picking up like branches and logs and wood and like piling it under its skeleton arm for you. And it brings it back over and it's like, here you go for fire. And drops that off and he starts kind of collecting. Oh, thank you. Clearing an area. Puts puts rocks and stones down around it and makes a little fire pit for you. Is, is he rolling make camp for us? Yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead and make camp. But um, <laughs> you get what? You get two dice because of the tent? Because Xena still has a tent, right? Uh, I do. Did, did not die with Calvair. Yeah. Uh, and go ahead and give yourself another die for the help of the ogre skeleton lich. I What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who is rolling? Who wants to make camp? Oh, dear God. I can. I can't. I I'll cannot. <laughs> I am the, the new Ren, or mine, Fury. Mine is not opening up the party sheet here. One second. I, I will roll to make camp. Fury's okay, like, fine. Let me show you, youngins, how it's done. You know what? I'm going to have to roll it from my um, sheet because it's not opening. Okay. Uh, is survival? Yes. 
and plus two, right? Plus three. Yeah, it's less more than that, yeah. You can give yourself another six, but it doesn't matter. You've, you've succeeded! Ooh. With the help of the big bone skeleton, and, um, I don't totally know. Totally not a lich. <laughs> totally yeah. not a lich. Uh, you, you make a really, really nice, quaint camp, and he puts you up underneath, like, a nearby tree that's got a nice overhang, so it keeps you out of the elements, it shades you, um... Yeah, it's very, very cozy. So ignoring the fact that you called this guy a lich, I would like to um <laughs> I would like to <laughs> take a moment and would I would I think that potentially some of the the um the spirits of of the fairies were they fairies or were they elves? I can't remember which. You don't really know. Uh it, it wasn't really relayed. Um, okay. So it, they weren't elves because the elves oh, brought the elves them here brought them. Okay. to to perform them. They were they were famous interdimensional uh, performing group. <laughs> I don't right. even make that up. It's re- literally what they were, and um, they were tricked here by the elves, and the elves kept them. They bottled them and trapped them in all sorts okay. of different trappings. But I wouldn't think that, knowing what I heard, I wouldn't think that this is one of them, right? No, because you were told they are usually locked in like bottles or okay. art objects, like little paintings, statuettes or yeah. portraits. Yeah, gotcha. paintings. N- Nereids are what they were called. Okay. They were like blue water folk. But yeah, this doesn't. Um, you could you could ask it. Like, are you a Nereid? No, I'm. I'm going to ask him if he's run into any uh, Nereids or knows where any of the that might be trapped. He's got a pile of treasure. Maybe he's got four or five up in there. So in those uh tree branches somewhere he did just ask us to bring him a bottle that laughed so like bottled laughter so maybe he's encountered that before i've heard of these long ago long 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 farther back than i can possibly remember but they are i've heard the name before perhaps before my time here i don't know what were you before your time here Mm. It was so long ago. I just lived in, and he point he points up to the sky, like in space and the stars. He's like, I lived up there. I had <gasps> no body. I've just kind of came here one day and stayed here. Do you want to go back? He shrugs. I've met some nice people. They keep me entertained. I like the ogres particularly. Are these their bones? I did not kill these ogres. Are those, you sure? Okay. Those lizard men <laughs> Convincing. Did. Those lizard men killed good. those those ogres. So it's not looking good for you, Tree. How you. did you get the bones then? There was a great battle that was fought here, and their bones were left. Perfectly behind. underneath your tree. They're scattered everywhere. He's kinda of just going mm-hmm. <laughs> No. Why is there no lizard folk bones? Just ogres. And thinks and thinks. That's a good question. Oh, that is very suspicious. <laughs> Are you going to go to sleep now? I feel like uh... we should go <laughs> sleep somewhere else. I don't trust this. Uh, no, I think I'm going to never sleep again, thanks. If I have a question. If yes. I needed somebody to be murdered, tree dude, do you think... You're asking you tree dude? This? Yes, of course I am. Okay, so go ahead, ask a question. If you... There are some bad lizard creatures, some very bad lizard creatures, that did something really terrible to my friend right in front of my face. I'm very traumatized. Um, and that's also why I'm riding on this tiny, this tiny earth elemental. Um... If we lured them over here, would you murder them? What? How would this benefit me? You'd have more bones. They have a whole pile of bones. We could bring them to you. They have so many bones. You have no idea. I think when there's nobody here, you could do plays with yourself. That's a great. That's a great idea, Ernie. Play I'd with myself. <laughs> whole plays. <laughs> Tell stories using your multiple corpses. Tell myself stories. Puppet shows. Have I feel like show this before? conversation is going nowhere. <sighs> I feel like you're not you wrong. Complete your quest, the quest I asked for, and I will kill your lizard men. 
Okay. Oh wow! Yes. Thank you. I will I'm... avenge. I'll avenge Calvert some someday. This is yeah. now my like. In Would this role. be my dark secret now? Like, this uh, is my you secret. can't change your dark. It is doesn't seem like much of a secret if we all know about it. Uh... <laughs> Shut up, Evan. <laughs> wait, wait. Shut up, Evan. <laughs> it's not really dark, is it? It's kind of like. It's kind it's of like you. Ab- it seems like, from what I've heard in the past uh, twenty minutes of knowing you, you abandoned your friend and he died because of that. <laughs> I'm, I just want you to know, I'm writing in my dark secret. I watched my friend die in front of me. <laughs> yes, not even your real friend. That's why you have no tears or anything. <laughs> Zena never cries. Zena never cries. Clyde says he cries enough for the both of us. <laughs> at least somebody seems to care all right so we're gonna uh, hunker down here for the night uh yeah, yeah i guess so okay yeah. so go ahead and rest the night uh g- give yourself back all your dice that you lost in combat one less day one, on my one less t- before you get your hand back no um, yeah. No, I'm just saying, I'm just counting two, down the days. Two days till you get your hand back. <laughs> Five days until my foot comes back. <laughs> All right. So it's morning. Um, I'm going to say, like, maybe you woke up throughout the night. The whole time, the big ogre skeleton was just kind of sitting there in camp, cross-legged. And he's he wasn't... He was just kind of watching out over the area. He said he was going to protect you. And if you woke up through the night, it looked like he was watching out over this area for you. I so wish I could have raised dead on that uh, ogre skeleton while he was controlling it. <laughs> Alas, not strong enough yet. So you, you wake up, you feel great, except for your foot and your hand, Xena. Everybody else feels fantastic. He says, I'm so hurt. <laughs> Where are you going to go now? I Nowhere don't know. fast. Apparently Where to find a going? bottle of laughter. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Do you promise to come back and visit from time to time? Constantly. Thank you. I like you a little bit more now. I didn't like you at first. Whoa. (laughs) Um, You know, I get that everywhere I go on this bloody (laughs) island. (laughs) Um, Is there anything else, like, in this area that you think is interesting? Are you asking him? Yeah, I'm asking Tree Dude. He says, I'm confined here. There's not, nowhere I can really go or do. Do you want us to uproot you and put you on, like, I don't know, set of wheels or something? Drag you around? <laughs> um, he sits there and <laughs> thinks. He kind of, like... You starts, could share a coffin. You know, see he, the world. <laughs> he starts, like, rocking back and forth. Sure and could. you see him thinking. He's, I don't think that'll work, but thank you. Okay. So where are we going to go? Do we have everything on this hex uh, figured out? You no. don't. You have the bone pile and you have the bone tree. And then we have one more we need to look at. Yeah. Let's go do that. All right. Let's make our rolls. Let's get to the party sheet. Is the party sheet not working for you guys? I... The party it's not... sheet turned into an actual sheet sheet. I like, turned into a character sheet. sheet. Yeah, oh, you know what? Sheet. Yeah, I noticed that. I think with the last update, something happened, and now the character sheet's not working, at least not in my game. So we'll just have to do the rolls the old-fashioned way. I did yeah. notice that. Something's up with it. I can I lead the way. <laughs> I can't I read, can... but I'm very knowledgeable. Client says, I have two eyes. I won't get, uh, I won't run into some lizard men this time, I hope. I Klein, hope. Klein, you're sure you want to scout? You're positive? Uh, Is this a good this, idea? Klein. You got this, Klein. Uh, Sounds I, like he was the source of the problem. I, I don't have a headache this time. My wits are back. <laughs> get back on the, on the proverbial this, crag. <laughs> All right. So lead the way. Yeah. You're going to be our pathfinder. Scouting. scouting. You're good? Yes. Uh, no, lead the way survival. I'm sorry. Keep watch of scouting. Yeah, I rolled survival. All right. So the two of you succeed. So you find uh, it looks like a used path here in the jungle, maybe by the salamanders, maybe by the ogres. Um, this is still ogre territory up in the north part of the of the island. But you do find a, a trail or a path that you follow. 
Klein, you're up ahead. You're keeping watch. You're 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 like extra careful now. After what happened last time, you're like, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm not gonna. No one's gonna die again on my watch. It's not, not never again. Never again. Exactly. And you're walking, and as you do, you see, um, down below, you're on a cliff, and it kind of goes down. It leads down towards the beach, and you're you're kind of walking now on the on the black sands, on the path you're following. And you notice up ahead, there are spikes of red translucent crystal, about a foot to two feet tall, rising up out of the sand, and they form a rough ring, about ten feet in diameter, up ahead. From here, you can see that they're glowing dimly. Oh. Like, almost like flickering. I would stop and wait for those that are behind him to catch up so we can make sure to be like stop this is what's going on um we should be careful i'm not sure if we should get close to these crystals or not do you know anything about them Zena? i do <laughs> i do are know the, something about them <laughs> should should we break them off like we did the stone statue so so what I know about this is uh, our friends, the Fuguenots, the ones who uh, murdered our bestie, um, work for Svarku, obviously. And part of their wealth generation is collecting these crystals that are red. And they technically appear in the volcano for the most part. They appear to contain flickering flames. Does that sound like what you've just... I felt like that just that was what you just described. But am I seeing them like flicker? They're red yeah. flickering? Yeah. Okay. It has, they're pretty mundane, but apparently they're mined for some reason. So uh, this is potentially like a dangerous area. We should use caution because if they're mining this area, we might bump into some more Fuguenots, which we all saw how that went last time. Um, yeah. But if we want to grab these crystals, we can. Craig, have you ever tried these before? He seems excited. He's kind of like jogging on the spot. There's no... No, can I have one? I'm down, Craig. Craig. God damn Craig, it. <laughs> go eat one. Still Tell me shoulders. how it tastes. He's taking yeah. it with him. Here he goes. All right, okay, yeah. He's just like, together. this is like the fastest you've ever seen him move. He just like takes off holding Xena on his shoulders. Great. Great. And he goes over to these these rock outcroppings. And he goes to the, the closest one. He gets close. And they're all jagging and poking out. And he puts his wraps his little hand around the close one. Just kind of <laughs> breaks one off. And you notice, you know, when it breaks off, it's like, perfect there's no imperfection or anything it breaks off perfectly and he's holding and he's looking at it and it's like there's like a flick there is a, a flickering flame inside it looks like okay it's <laughs> the whole thing in his mouth <laughs> chomp 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 there's like little bits of crystal falling out of his beak as he's eating so these are delicious these are almost like the ones that you gave me when we first met oh. on that note i'm gonna uh cast into like magic Okay. Ooh. How many, uh, let's get a mishap. <laughs> just just oh. one. Okay. One willpower. Let's get a mishap. Roll me a d6. Magical mishaps are fun. I know. <laughs> I'm just on top of the rock. All right. So what happens? It just senses magic in the area? One second. I'll throw it into the uh, chat. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Ernie. Oh. All right. Short, immediate, divining rod. Automatically sense whenever someone uses magic within a short range or an item you hold is charged with a magical power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to know more about what kind of magic is involved, you must cast sense magic. Okay. So, yes. Cool. Yes, it does. It is magically charged. magic of some form here um i'm not sure what or what it does but i can tell you i can feel something emanating from these i'm already fashioning like a stick with yeah. like a, a like a line and i tie one of the red crystals in front and i put it out in front of craig so yeah that well, craig's like just like snap <laughs> snap oh, <my> <laughs> snap <Am> I... <laughs> he's just like eating them like nonstop. Am I able to tell if the magic effect is stronger in the middle of the uh, circle or not? No, you are not. 
Greg is charging himself up. He's becoming a nuclear bomb at this He's point. just like uh, breaking him off and he's just like <laughs> one after another. He doesn't even know what's going on. He just he kind of takes you off, Xena, and he sits down, no. plunks down in the sand, and just like mm. eat. Uh oh. Maybe we should stop your rock friend. This seems like a stupid thing to let them keep eating. Craig, um, if you are if you've had a little bit of a taste here, um, those have some kind of magic going on in them, and I'd hate for you to get sick, buddy. Why don't you stop eating those for a bit? We'll find you some good old-fashioned magnets in a bit. <laughs> Miracles. Whoa, Q times. Hello. Thank you for the raid. 40 people. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're doing some Forbidden Lands right now, which I know is uh, one of Eric's uh, favorite games. Hello, hello. <laughs> So he, yeah, he's sitting, he goes, he looks up, and he's just got, like, red crystal <laughs> particles around his little stone beak, and he looks up at you. Huh? It's like red he, crystal dust under his yeah, nose. Yeah. He has yeah. a problem. This is not <laughs> good. No. Uh, he goes, put your we, pet on a leash. Can we? <laughs> I'm not a pet. Huh. Hey. He's, he's, what is, how is his mood affected? Like, is he, he like. Just, he's, he's really, he's really content. This stuff is delicious. He's never, he's like, it's, it's kind of like the rock you guys gave me when we met. Okay. Okay. Let's pace ourselves. Okay. Let's pace ourselves. We'll make sure that you get your share of these. Can we Craig, take all of these? If you help us get them, yes. <laughs> he's just like, tsh, tsh, Stop snapping eating. off. Don't eat them. <laughs> And he said it like every other one. He's just like, hum, 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 into his mouth. No, no. You have zero control over your pet. This is ridiculous. He's not a pet. He's not a pet. <laughs> he's a friend. You'll feel free to talk to him. He'll listen to just about anybody. Uh, he will. It's true. Can you stop, Rockman? <laughs> Same as Craig. Craig, can you can you just? Stop he like for turns just around, a huh? And his mouth flies. <laughs> he's shoving a crystal in his mouth. <laughs> I don't want you to have an addiction to this. You know, we need to have a oh, healthy understanding. I'm so hungry. What if we give you one a day? Turning into a real. Oh, what if we take Craig? all of them? Not gonna have yeah, all sure, of them. Yes, sure. We can take a mini of them. But what if okay. you only can eat? We 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 give you just one. You know. <laughs> all of a hey, you're like, what if they kill you? We don't know what they are right now. You're blah, 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 and his little bad. arms. His little his little uh, arms go on his stomach. He's like, oh. I think I've eaten too many. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Can you can can you poop? Is oh, this? <laughs> He's gonna puke an awesome. I don't He's know the anatomy of your he kind. Goes, can you? Who poop? are you? Where did you come from? When did you join us? I just stop. I st I stop everybody, and I'm like, just stop. And I just like say, sit down. And I have Craig sit down, and I rub his I rub his little rock tummy. <laughs> so it feels better. Because I can't help collect these things. And then I say, you all collect them while he's having, like, like some some stomach, internal problems. Stomach problems. Um, so, Ernie, Fury, and... Actually, all of you, go ahead and make me a survival roll, please. Survival. You got it. Me too? Do yeah, all to? of you. Yeah, all of you. I have found the crystal. No... So all of you, Ooh. while you're sitting there talking, you're trying to help Craig and you're trying to nurse him back. Oh, um, no. You notice there's like rustling up on the ridge, up in the bushes. Oh, shit. You don't see what it is, but something was there and like kind of like all of you kind of turn and it's it's gone. But there was because you're down on the beach, right? You went down onto the beach or on the black sands. Something or someone was up above. Like watching big or, or like... You can't tell. Noise. You saw some bushes rustle and it's gone. But you know someone or something was or is up there. Can I try to go stealth and yes. find it? Yeah, go ahead and roll me stealth, please. All right. So Ooh. all of a sudden, <laughs> Fury just like turns and runs silently up the path. Back up the path. You make Naruto your way style. up there. Yes, uh, Naruto style. <laughs> what is that, Naruto runner? Arms back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you make your way up there, and you get back up to the bush, and you see, running back into the jungle, you see a salamander, a lone salamander. Ooh. Can, how far is he? 
he is in like am uh, i gaining on him or is he no like, you're not you basically you get to the top of the hill up, up on top of the beach and you see him basically getting to the jungle line where it okay. starts he's far range if we wanted to put it into range bands or like gotcha. long range um and fury knows there is like based on what they said that there I, is a salamander camp or yeah you, well and you you've lived here on the on the um on the yeah. island so i'm gonna say that you you're aware of some of the things around here in these hexes um okay yeah i will run back to the group and i'll say it seems we have some unwanted attention from the salamanders we should probably leave quickly yeah, the salamanders are likely a scout for the rest of the few gods, so let's... I am going to destroy as much of it as quickly as I can and then go... Destroy what? it? What? Yep. Okay. Take the it's, crystals. It's what they call value, right? You start smashing it, and it Craig's, like, grabbing it and picking like, it up. Smash, smash, he's got, like, smash. he took, like, a, a bag from one of you, and he's, like, trying to put it in a bag as fast as possible. As you guys we just seem to have mixed feelings on this. I'm going I'm to try and grab some, not smashing it. I'm, I'm like, scrambling on the ground with one good hand trying to grab We're not carrying 20 stuff. tons of rock No, I'm going to just us. carry, like, a couple. Yeah, I don't Craig is. Get... Yeah, we're going to carry Craig's as much as carrying. we can, but... All right. So you fill, um, up, a, you fill up a sack... With crystal, and he just starts smashing. Like, so the bases are really thick, and it's like little crystals right. growing off of them, and like shards. So you smash them as, as best as you can, like given the time, because you're you're not sticking around, you're not sitting there like forever doing it. You're just like smash, smash, smash. Let's get out of yeah. here. So there's still right. like bases. These crystal bases are left on the on the uh, on lit, the beach, lit but there's like. Three. It's lit littered. The black sand is littered with like little red flakes. But remember, they break off perfectly, actually. So they're not like flakes. Like the perfect crystal breaks off every time. I'll start leading them out of the hex, basically. Sure. All right, let's make our rolls then for the next hex. We're going to go into HS01. Okay, scouting. Let's go. Ooh, I guess I will push. Nice. I succeeded. Did you? You failed your scouting. No, oh, no you missed my scouting. Yeah, one. What am I talking about? Yeah, I, <laughs> I just wanted to success. see something bad happen again. Uh, uh no, Klein will not fail this time. Fours, Tyler. Right? Like that? That's that's um, uh, is that is that unlucky in some capacity? Well, let's find Four out. Is death. Yeah. <laughs> so you make your way. Thankfully, yeah, uh, he's got. <laughs> On the skill days, you make your way back up off the beach and eat back into the jungle. The way that the path continues, and this looks like a well-used path. You see footprints, large footprints along the way, humanoid footprints, <gasps> but big. Well, you continue so on, ogres? possibly. Mm -hmm. Giants, giants, yeah, <laughs> not that big. <laughs> Uh, you continue on, and uh, Klein, you eventually come across a clearing. It's about a, roughly 100 feet in diameter, and it's filled again with those spider bushes. Do you remember you saw those before? They're those bushes that move to go into the sunlight. You've encountered yeah. them previously in, a, in an area, and they kind of yeah. like move wherever the sun goes. They're covered in, in white and blue flowers. So you see a, a valley just littered with those again. Ooh. Okay. Oh, another dead Aussie game. Michael, thank you for the raid. I'm getting all the raids tonight. Thank you, everybody, for joining <laughs> us. Wow, thank you. Um, um, so, yes, you've got a valley, or, uh, sorry, a clearing filled with those spider bushes again. Uh, and there's a large pile of black uh, basalt boulders sitting on the, the western edge uh -huh. of this clearing. And surrounding the pile are, like, large yellowed they almost appear to be dying ferns and they're just around this this big black basalt boulder oh wow okay and this boulder so everything around this boulder seems to be like decaying the ferns themselves they're the yellowing ferns. and dying the spider bushes okay. look fine they look nice and healthy they got bright blue and white flowers all over them you see the uh the the sun kind of gets covered up by a cloud and they all start kind of like rustling a little bit and then the cloud moves away and the <laughs> the bushes all calm down they just kind of sit in place oh they're getting chilly <laughs> <laughs> um klein comes back 
to everyone and it's like it's the spider bushes again there there's there's a lot of them do we and, have a torch or something seems uh, like a pretty I, I logical some... thing spider bushes don't hurt you what, what? I've got some, I thought but I mean it's sunny alone, out okay. we don't need to burn them I didn't that. say I wanted to burn them at all. I was literally just producing light for our party in case the clouds came over. That was it. A hell of a cloud. He literally just described clouds coming over and the bushes go crazy. I don't understand why we're confused. <laughs> um, so Klein is like, Okay, sure. If we can continue continue through here, is there, everyone's good with that? I'm going yeah. to hand Fury a unlit torch and say, knock yourself out. All right, I have flint and steel. So okay. I'll light up a torch. Yeah, you light up a torch as you start walking through. Again, it looks like the path goes right through this this little clearing that you're going through. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, so if you remember on every on every spot or place you find or discover, you can there's the dark, right? And you can do a roll to kind of uncover oh, yeah, yeah. what more is going on there if you want. So there's there's always something more on every every kind of little spot you go on. If you want to fill in your journal too, this is the spider brush clearing. Spider brush brush. Spider oh, brush. Is that sorry. Is that that's good. Torches? No, that's a good roll. A one is the end of your torches. A one or two. Um, yeah, so I guess we can go investigate the rocks and the ferns, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. And we all become ferns. <laughs> we all, yes. So do we, it... do we roll or do you roll for what gets uncovered? Well, you're going to roll. Go ahead oh. and do a insight roll. Everybody, you're kind of poking around the area and taking a peek inciting the plants insight there all right xena you get off of <laughs> craig's shoulders bubble and klein you're also kind of poking around maybe you 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 hold you hold out an arm for xena and uh mm -hmm. it's up to her whether she takes it or not and yeah, sure. and not the problem. two of you are are kind of like kicking around these ferns these ferns are dying something's killing them you're not too sure what but you notice hidden underneath them there appears at the base of the boulder to be uh like a wood like wooden slats oh. like 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 somebody's laid these down here like it's covering something up let's huh. open let's look for like a trap door or something let's un yeah. i'd like to uncover it this is why the fern's not growing because it's laid on top of wood yeah, you. So go ahead and make me a strength roll to try and. This thing's got dirt that's messed up or, or on it over time. I'm going to push it. Hey. Yeah, I did it. I got one. So one, you're, yeah. you're struggling. You're getting this thing up. And between you and Klein, you, you managed to pry up a couple of these boards and they just snap. They're old, they're oh. ancient. And as you do so, like dust is like whoosh up from below. And you look down there, you got the sunshine beating down behind you and it looks like it's a little dugout of some sort it's like somebody dug this a long long time ago in the corner there looks to be uh there's a, there's like a sack down there i probably shouldn't go down because i doubt i can get myself back up again i would like to help lower klein down with my one good arm <laughs> and klein will also uh pass uh his his staff uh to xena so she can help like stay upright a bit easier oh, thanks. for walking <laughs> uh and maybe that's used to lower him down as well and he, and he, he just he makes his way down yeah so you or make at least your tries way down. to xena lowers you down <laughs> and it's all dark in here it's dusty you're coughing but you see this large sack in the corner and you start going towards it as you do so you can hear <laughs> And you see this giant snake slither up in the yes, darkness. And, you your and look upstairs. right at is you. This is a massive, massive uh, snake. It is like 20, uh, 30 feet long. This uh, thing is huge. It's a if you were to, it was a giant snake. Or something. Yeah. I, it's it's I not this is not a regular snake. This is a massive giant is, snake. Is this the moment where we leave the friend, right? <laughs> what, what does it look like? What does it look like? What does it look like? I need to know uh -huh. what it looks like. 
it's, so it's black what, and silver. Black, it's got like black, black going down silver. its back and silver scales, like black right down the very center <sighs> and silver. Mm. Um, Mine has one book in animal handling. <laughs> so Fine. this isn't a copper pack. Fine. Fine. We're like going to battle map. To him, I imagine. Fine. We're going to a battle map here, buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah you disturbed it. You've just dropped down in, uh, on it. Yeah, so before he, get, he gets eight, he's going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa do you want to be whoa. my friend? Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Oh my god, can we get a snake too? <laughs> Throw your rat, feed your rat to it. Oh, wait, Klein's no! in the hole. Klein's in the Klein hole. Oh, okay, that's the hole. hole. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, okay. I see. I'm going to roll animal handling. If I get a success, I'm well, expecting to well, have a going, snake going, friend. No, we're going to initiative here. <laughs> You can, uh, you, can, you can use your turn to roll animal handling if you want. Okay. Oh boy. Evil. Evil? Who, me? You will know when yeah. I can roll uh, the, Matt. Yeah, yeah, hold on one second. Yeah. Let, me, let me reset the deck. All right, so you get to go All first, right. right, Bill? Yeah, he rolls his two. Uh, I was going to say two. You can keep that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Wait. Oh, they're all... Wait. Who rolled, Wait. Who rolled three times? Or was there that says uh, Klein, Klein rolled a million times? Know. It I also rolled says twice, me. but I, I think I might have been on Klein's. I think you did, token. yeah. Okay. So it wasn't Klein. Oh, your snake got a nine. Evan two gets a five. <gasps> I have no ability to fight it, and I got a one. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly walk down. I'm so excited. It's down. This don't hole. move, snake. Don't move. Wait, am I not in? The, am I not over the hole? I am, right? You are closest to the hole. Yeah, Klein's you're right in the by, hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't have my weapon. Why is it? <laughs> I'm gonna I drop it. Waste. It's the, my first <laughs> thing I'm gonna do is drop it to you. Everything I put thing. on the combat tracker says bear, which is funny. Um. Uh, okay, you got a two. At least we all went Ernie. good before it. Xena, you got a one, right? Yep. Klein, what I got did a you get? Five. Klein got uh, five. I believe I got a four. Four. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Begin Ooh. combat. All right, so Xena, you're up first. You're climbing like, help! And you, this, you just hear like, sss, you can hear like a snake hissing down there, a hissing noise. He's a, uh, You lowered him down about six feet. So he's you know what? he's kind of like, ah, I need help to get out. Ah, I need help. I can't get out here on my own. Help. <laughs> Do you want me to heft you out? No. He wants to make friends. Leave him in there. <laughs> Uh, he says, should get he, the creature out on he, the surface. He says, uh, "It's it's a black and silver snake. Is it is it friendly?" <laughs> I no. feel like this is not um, a good oh. time to ask if a snake is I, friendly. I reach I reach down with the staff and I tell him to grab the staff so I can heft him out because I'm laying on the ground, which I, we all it's, I'm great because I don't have make, to walk. So it's make good. me a strength yeah. roll. Um, but <laughs> Klein, I'm gonna say this will be your fast action. Yeah, this will be super sense. fast action for the turn. Ooh, okay, so nice. you do so, and she lowers the staff down. You hold on to it, and she lifts you out. So you're now oh, yeah. out, and this thing, as it's doing oh. so, kind of like slithers fast, and like lunges at you, tries to bite, and it just hits. And now I can't hits move the wall. because I'm laying on the ground. <laughs> so I'm gonna be the first thing right there. I'm ready. Oh, does it come out of the hole at, with us? Or... Yeah, do we see the snake now? Like it's head Not, or something? Uh, no, it's not. It's turn yet. No, it's still snake. down there. Is snake. okay. Okay, that's my turn. I believe. Oh, that thank you, Zeta. Is your turn. All right, so Ernie. It was I like Ernie's token. Down into the so hole. <laughs> people who are at home, you're seeing new tokens. You're seeing token for uh, for <laughs> Fury, and you're seeing Ernie finally has a token. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's nothing I can do yet, as there's nothing up here, and I don't have a bow out. I'm just going to can... get my my um, shield and my staff or my spear out and be ready. Okay. You can just, you know, charge in there and jump down the hole if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, that's, uh... No, 30 feet's not long suicide enough. With Evan, this thing steps. is, like, I don't know, twice that. It's it's a giant... It's considered a giant snake. Uh, okay. So there's no ready action in this. Or hold your action, so you're just... Okay. Yeah, I'm, Klein. I'm just getting my gear out. Klein, you're on the edge of the... On the edge of the pit. The edge of the uh -huh. dugout. Next to Xena. You're both laying there on the ground. Uh, Klein is going to pull Xena, help pull Xena away from the hole since they can't really move. 
themselves. <laughs> All right, and so that's mine. Is worried about the snake. That's going to be your slow out. action. All right, yeah. So, so go ahead. And you make me a strength roll now. Oh, <laughs> oh, it had to be strength. Nah, strength is fine. Ooh, Look at you're that. You're good. All right, how far away do you want to pull her and you away? Uh, like a one one range band sort of sure. deal, just yeah, to yeah. make sure to make it a little easier. It's just mm. there. There we go. We gotta keep each other Thank safe, Zena. Thank you. So he saves Zena, but he doesn't help Kelver. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right. All right, Fury. Fury, All it's right. your turn. The new one, the um, old wolf. What do you want to do? So we don't see it, and there's no ready to actions. Uh, I'll use my quick draw so I can pull out both daggers for free. Yep. Because um, I also have ambidextrous. I guess seeing that they're backing away, he is also just going to use his movement to back away behind them. <laughs> oh, it's like you're, uh, oh no, it's like the goblin what? from Simba Room last week. Uh, um, this is how I. And he, you, and I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really, can I do like a, like a animal hailing check to see if I can find anything out about this no. creature or something? No, because you can't, okay. no. Yeah, then I don't know. I don't have anything to do with my last action then. All right, Snake's turn. Snakey snakes. I did not make a tank, Jin. What do you want me to do? I, <laughs> I don't know. Not hide behind the cripple. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm basically tiny. You got Tim this guy so protecting you. This big <laughs> snake's head slithers up and looks around. Uh -oh. Tongue darts out. The head is like the size of like an ogre's head. Like, size. Of, it's huge. It's massive. Uh oh. And it sees you, Ernie, and it starts slithering towards you. And as it does, it's just get it just keeps going and going and going, coming out of this hole. And the the diameter of its body is at least like three feet in diameter. It's huge. You've never seen a snake this big. Mm. It's time for it to try and bite you. <laughs> Shocker. Oh, geez. And you can't parry against something like this, I assume, right? It's um, like too big. Yeah, it's it's massive. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this is gonna be fun. All right. Oh. oh. So it lunges out and bites you, Ernie. No parry allowed. Mm. Yeah, Most you... real monsters, you actually can't parry. Yeah, exactly. You're you're kind of you're kind of screwed with this thing. But you have armor though. You do have you armor, armor. So roll your armor. And you can... And he can do move All right. as well. Oh, yeah, you can try and dodge. Yeah. With the move. Even like if I'm Klein successful can. with dodge, I'm then on the ground, so. Yeah, Yeah. dodge means you just jump to the ground. So it bites you. It does two points of damage, but oh. as it bites you, you can feel something flowing into your veins. Uh, this is when we power. all run. Ultimate power. All right, so this right? thing has poison in it. So you're going to have to make an endurance roll oh against the bad. potency of the poison. Uh, let me get, grab my... I'm... <laughs> so long, Ernie. We abandoned uh, Calvary last session this week. It's uh, Ernie. This is how I die. While you're looking this up, I'd like to know, can I roll on the ground as a normal move action? <laughs> Just crawl, I think, is an option. <laughs> Army crawl. Yeah, yeah, crawl. Okay. Uh, so the way poison works is... You have to make <laughs> Three, um, six, an endurance roll. And, and you have to roll... Have to roll so yeah. I roll... Let's see. D the, D6 the, based on how many... If, what the, the toxicity is. Or whatever yeah, is. Yeah, so if you ingest yeah. poison in the same manner, roll an opposed roll against the GM. They roll base dice equal to the potency, and you roll for endurance. Yeah. So my, ba my potency is five. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. It's not that bad. Tis right. a flesh wound. So I got two successes. So you need to roll endurance and get two successes to it stop the nice poison. It is nice knowing you uh, do to uh -oh. I'm sure your that friends is will no successes. So Full effect. Take, take a point of uh, off your strength, please. On top of the damage <laughs> it did. He's so dead. Oh, I'm down no. to one. Oh, All right. no. Master. You're going to continue to take a point of damage every turn. Until or it will you... be broken next round. Okay. <gasps> no. All right. So yep. it's done its turn. <laughs> it's moved and it's attacked. 
Xena, over to you. Okay, um, I'm gonna, can I army crawl and get to this thing? <laughs> no, because, like, moving is technically your slow action. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, oh she would God. get there, she just couldn't swing at it. That's true. You could army crawl over there, yeah, but you couldn't do anything. That's, can yeah, I, good call. Can I, th can I throw my sword at it? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> throw your sword. That's not a, uh, no. <laughs> Okay, I accept it. If Matt says no, I accept it. Because Matt says yes to everything for uh, me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not in this instance. That's just like okay. asking for Ernie to get like s s stabbed in the back accidentally. Just <laughs> No, because I have two sixes banked. And I'm, oh. I want to use them. So whatever I can do is going to be... So I'm, I, I can't stand to see if this happened to Ernie. I'm army crawling over to Ernie. All right. Army crawl over to Ernie. And then what? We put him out of his misery and just sl <laughs> slit his throat. No, <laughs> I can't attack him. I can't attack. I can't I'm hoping I get snake, one right? round of attack before Klein, I die. Ma you your will. Master. You will get a round. Yeah. Klein, it's I your can't, master. I can't attack right because I I did this thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ernie, speaking of which, it's your turn. Run away, Ernie. So let's look at a spell here. I am going to use. Yay. Yeah. And I am going to use all eight of my willpower on it. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, so roll me 8d6. Let's get a magical mishap. At least you'll do there a lot of damage. Even if it's not going to die, you'll still do 8 Yeah, damage. and like cold on a snake, that's like... You're just going to get could, teleported like, to the demon realm and die, but no oh. sixes. No one. No. Oh, one six. one. Yep. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Magical. Watch our demon. A portal open up and a demon pull him in. And that's the last you see of Ernie. Uh, so two sixes? Just one six. You got. No, I, do I need I to think he's going to roll on the table or whatever. I'm going to roll. Built in. Yeah. Ooh. All oh, right. Lucky. Someone witnesses your magic and tells others your reputation increases by one step. <laughs> Some Why guy did I roll that? Why did I roll that? <laughs> that <laughs> oh, me. do I do I have your? I must have your token selector or something. Okay. I did. Some some random guy in the woods is watching. He's like, oh, that guy used magic. Cool. <laughs> and he goes and tells <laughs> all of his friends. All right, your reputation goes up by one. That guy was Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, 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 that guy's got magic and a big snake. I'm gonna oh, go oh. tell Minnie about that. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> he's dead next round. This is the beginning of Sorcerer Mickey, is him seeing this. Oh no. I'm so inspired to become a necromancer. I'm gonna go animate all my brooms. <laughs> all right, oh, so God. how much damage did you do? You did eight points of damage? I used eight, eight yeah. willpower, so you lose eight strength and eight wits. Wits doesn't affect monsters, but the strength does. Uh, oh, this thing, this, this thing so is they, shivering, they Ernie. This thing is shivering, but it's still oh, wow. alive. Maybe we can save well, that's you. That's good, because I'm not. <laughs> I think, doesn't he go down from the poison at, like, at the end of his turn, right? I don't know yep. when the poison at. I don't know um, it says. Yeah, I think question. it's at the end, but... Yeah, it should be at the end. Poison? I shouldn't have just said anything, sorry. You He's take taken... one point to your strength each round <laughs> until you're broken. It says each round, so I guess, technically, do you even get to attack? It's a new round. Oh, sorry, Bill. <laughs> Oh, I think we gotta undo all of that. Oh no, too much. Evan, too much look at you. Con. It's too much to retcon. Yeah, it's too Evan much to retcon. That's what I was saying. <laughs> too much to retcon. We've rolled so many well, times. Well, technically, at the beginning of the round, he takes another point of poison. But you got that? That what about Sorcerer Mickey, who now oh, you're just unleading oh, him from existence? <laughs> I saw it. it, it was There's a, no way it was I could a... not see it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> well, technically, it would be on his turn, though, too. Either it's at the beginning of the round or on his turn, you take it. But what about the end of his turn? I think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. This is incredible. Yeah, me, me too. I'm pretty sure of that, too. Yep. <laughs> I mean, maybe next time we can do it right, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. Uh, okay. Do whatever. I really don't care, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all now can very easily reroll characters. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys are like. Super yeah, ready to we're go. gonna undo that epic oh, magic. Oh, Ernie, thing. I'm sorry. Uh. And Ernie, you you fall unconscious to poison. Oh, Ernie. 
Mickey Mouse was just a acid trip via the poison that was in his veins. <laughs> we don't have. There's no table for poison. Yes, I'll there. just be a farmer then. There's no table for poison. Past the veil, he'll just be a farmer. Is he was happening fine. He's like. Uh, <laughs> I think that's just it. Like you don't. Because the only other is, table is, uh, is horror roll. trauma, other than. Oh God. Yeah, I don't think he rolls anything. All right, so yeah, Ernie sure just, just passes out. Yeah. yeah. Ernie just passes out on his turn. Oh, I'm taking my willpower back too in case I do yes. survive. Yes, Klein, oh, yeah. over to you. You just watched your master pass out. Uh, Klein sees what he his master was trying to do. He saw him using the necrotic magic that he taught to his own master, and he's like, "It's not, I have to help him." And so he'll move to the snake and try to do chill the grave as well. Uh, All right, does not do the same thing. How many willpower points are you spending? Uh, uh, I have two points, and I can't remember if I still have the stone. I assume I don't have the stone, or it's. Not I, I think anymore. the stone was no longer working. Yeah. Yeah. Like stop so it. Got, a days. Yeah. So I got two. Okay. Uh, so I will use two to uh, get them, and I'll roll a two d six there. So we'll see how that goes. No oh, whammies, great. No whammies. All um, right, so you one over, touch this giant snake, and chill runs through it. Two points of damage? Yeah. Okay. Nice. We're, Very we're good. getting it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And he's like... Tss. It turns and Wait, hisses you... at you. Oh, so you had did to you move, run though, over to it? Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. You're over toward me. Yeah. Okay. All right, over to the new guy, Fury. Uh, yeah, he will use his uh, slow action to fling a dagger and his fast action to fling a dagger. So the first one. Mm. Oh, wow. Whoa, we want to push that? That's a lot of dice. That's a lot of ones. But none of them are, oh no, two of them are no, on there's here. There's two at the end. I'm sure. not going to push it yet. Okay, so the first one... I'm going to throw the second one in. First one goes just into the front. The go. second nice. one hits its mark for two points of damage. It does not have any natural armor. Ooh, this nice. Snake. And then he'll fling out both daggers, Naruto style, and then he'll <laughs> use his free action to draw two more. Look at you. Oh, wow. Our min-maxer is in the house. The min-maxer is here. All right, so just now it's got willpower. two more targets. Klein and Xena. So one to two is Klein, three to four is Xena. It's gonna now bite Klein <gasps> no! for chilling it. No! That's no! okay. I got Dude. armor. I got, I got I armor. armor too. <laughs> I like that this snake goes for yeah. casters. So this did is I. a very nice snake. Uh, it hits. All right. So roll your uh, one. I will roll my armor. Let's you go. Got this. I have yeah, oh, fine. so it just kind of it sinks its fangs Easy. into you, but it does not get through or past your armor. Good. <laughs> All right, Xena, you're up. I pull out my long sword. Yes, I pull out my long sword. I stab the shit out of this thing. Roll your attack. Yeah, you didn't spend any willpower it. points or anything. So I don't need to because I ha I'd have at least one automatic six. Um, but let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> Seth gave you one at the top of the session. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, can I add that? Yeah, you can add I actually have, I have um, two. Seth gave me two. <laughs> two sixes? Two sixes, yeah. Um, make your roll, and I'll give you two additional successes. How about that? Okay. So yeah, you've had three successes. successes. So that would be four damage. Uh, I also add a D8 artifact die to my attack. Because I can, have break uh, three. add that to your macro, too. Oh, cool. I'll do that. Okay. I can do that. Let me just add. So, yeah, so nothing that's... That. Oh, yeah. So ideal. So four points of damage? Four points of damage. All yeah. right. You, We're you slowly getting to Ernie's spell. Forward, and you. <laughs> uh, Ernie takes another point of damage. Um, and you have four points. Does it matter if I'm broken? I don't. I don't know. No. It's poison. It's just going to keep happening. I guess. Uh, nice. I, wish, I would assume dead. on the. On I get stabbed in the heart, injury. and you just can Wait, sit there and uh, do whatever would... you want poison. I would, I would like to spend a willpower point to immediately attack again. Uh, nice. Do it, Evan. How many? Um, I want to kill this thing. Do it. How many it's mushrooms barely alive. am I able to eat? I'm so angry you at it. Cut All right, this let me thing. Put in my artifact. Do I just put in my artifact? So I just put one d8. Does that? Will that do it? There we go. Yeah, there oh, look at that. that. The green dice. Yeah, yeah, that's what gave you your success. Do you want to push that roll? You have no ones. Mm. 
I'll tell you. You are so sure. evil because it is a long time. day that we have. I feel like that's anyway. okay. I will not do that. You're not gonna push it. Okay. I do. I deal it's still two more two damage. damage. Yeah. I deal two yeah. more damage. Yeah, it's just two damage. <laughs> Don't fall uh, for him. He's so good at convincing me to do that, but I'm not going to. All right, Zena. <laughs> how, do you, how do you kill the snake? Yeah. I stab it the first time and I kind of glance at it, but I hit its eye. I knock its one eye out and it like screeches because snakes screech in this world. They go, wee, wee. <laughs> and I'm like, we could have been best friends. And I bring the long sword down straight through its head and pierce it into the ground. And Harry then Potter I turned to Ernie, and I'm like, Ernie! <laughs> I'm, I'm Ernie's, rolling on the floor. There's, like, drool, Greg, like, bump. He, he's foaming uh, at the mouth. It's, like, it looks like where he got bit. It's terribly infected already. It's, like, inflamed uh, and pussing immediately. I no. start trying to do a health healing check of sucking oh. out the venom and spitting it out. <laughs> I'll suck the poison out. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. What success? Uh, I do it. <laughs> Uh, master, no! Yeah. This is Stay not an appropriate us. master uh, relationship. <laughs> so like, oh, I'll save this you, was master. this Don't was worry. legal poison, and it says if you drink an antidote in time, the effect of the poison is halted. Which the effect is just that they are they go till they're broken. It looks like yeah. The the critical injury I think that would come into effect would be non tickle non-typical damage on the chart um i would assume and looks like the time limit is d6 days uh to death (laughs) (laughs) death so So is he saved or not no this is lethal poison so he basically gets healed to one and then goes back down he's 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 right so the critical injury counts as a non-typical if you drink an antidote in time the effect of the poison is halted in time would be before you break. I, I roll myself down into the pit and I go for the sack because maybe there's antidote in the sack. Yeah. Neat. I fall six feet. Do I take any damage? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Falling damage. Down. You just like roll down the hill. Yes. Ah, or not in the hole. Yes. I just roll straight down into the hole. And I'm like, the sack. Hold on, falling is on the same page. If you fall, like, I think three meters or something. If you fall from three meters or more and hit a hard surface, the GM rolls for an attack against you. Six feet is not three meters. No, you're fine. You just thud down there. And, like, the the back end of the snake and the tail still going down into this hole. (laughs) It's still down there. I go over and see the sack. You're good. Yeah, it looks like uh, somebody buried some treasure in here. (laughs) Oh wow! Well, you antidote. found my antidote. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so <Is it> there's <laughs> looks like there's some money in here, and it looks like oh. there might be some objects or items that you found Ooh. in here. Okay. Climb with just his master. It. I just heave it straight up over the edge and say, <laughs> "Check for antidote. Check for antidote." <laughs> it breaks. It breaks <laughs> and spills over place. There's no oh, antidote no. in this sack. <sighs> Oh, um, can I see if there's like a way that I, now that we see the creature, like we can think of some way to create something with like herbs mm. nearby. Okay, or... okay. You guys really want to help Ernie. Okay. Well, I, 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 Ernie I don't die. abandon friends, so yeah. I will do what I can to try and help them. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't abandon you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't abandon friends. I didn't abandon you. All right, let's take a look here. So you want to try and find something with herbs and something locally to see if you can help Ernie, who's right, who just took a huge dose of lethal poison. Um, you're gonna have to do a survival roll, and then you're gonna have to do a crafting roll to make it. Is that so? Scouting to find the appropriate uh, ingredients. I have crafting. Yeah, can I just well. survive? Can I do the survival roll and then bring it back to him? Sure. Okay. Yeah, for me it's like a total of five dice for crafting, so five books. There you go. <laughs> All I right, pushed. give yourself a willpower. So you find some herbs, surrounding area that you think, and some flowers and some vine, um, some roots and stuff that you think will will help. Uh, Klein, you're gonna do me a crafting roll, but you're not familiar with poison, so this is gonna be at a minus two. 
Ooh, <sighs> good luck, my friend. I gave you the uh, ingredients, but uh, you know that's all I could do. Oh no! Hell bent on killing me. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you guys. This... Uh, I you didn't, know, you I didn't fine. do the you know, brew antidotes in your spare time all all the time. Do you want to push that? Do I put it into modifier? I put negative two into yes. there, but it didn't look like it reduced my dice pool. Oh really? Um, I don't That's think weird. so. I'll try again. Um, oh, there. it looked like it oh. did, and then it went back. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Well, I I'll, saw I it am too. Gonna, I, That's weird. I am gonna push it. Um, uh, I'll push the top one. There, so cool. So we erase the last two anyway and take the first three, and that's one success. I make an antidote. <laughs> All right. You make uh, an antidote. You think you make an antidote. Wow. It's not really a recipe or anything. I just, I just throw it all in, in, a little, in a little, like, little pot. Using my <laughs> mouth as a beaker. Yeah. <laughs> it is like crush it with the staff and just put it all on the ground and start hitting everything till it's like mushed together to just put it in master's mouth and I'm like there you go chew it swallow it it'll make you feel better okay so you give this to him you start you put it on the wound you give some to him this you don't think this is going to do the job this is a temporary fix okay and i rolled on the the, the time you figure you got maybe two days before he might succumb to this poison. This is just to tide him over. Okay. Well, we can but get him to the old lady, so and fix him up. Oh, yeah, you get him to the old lady. That's going to be a quick two um, days. You're going to travel how many hexes? Uh, oh, yeah. It's, uh, well, yeah, oh, I have too far. He'd die in that time. We could do that, but you would have to be ready to kill her, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't want to have to kill her <laughs> right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> that is going to happen if you're with me, so. <laughs> he's like, uh, okay, Who's gonna she's kill creepy. Who? <laughs> well, I will do my best to kill her. Well, um, what else did we find in the, in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> now that Master's okay, what did we find in the bag? Meanwhile, we just I'm push like... him over and start leaving. <laughs> I, I pull the bag to yeah. us. Yeah, she's just down there. Help. Oh, Clyde goes over with his staff and he, he puts, Wait, he puts it down. Wait, before you pick her up, maybe there's there more for her to it? go look. Yes. Oh. I crawl around the, the cave fish <laughs> dug out. There's nothing else in here. It looks like there is a, a, a snake's nest. A very mm -hmm. large snake's nest. They're baby snakes, maybe? There are no mm -hmm. baby snakes. You've got your splinter. You don't have a baby snake. Anytime I come across <laughs> a baby anything in this game, it's going to be my... I want to get the baby shot. snake so I can eat your baby rat. Hey! Wow. <laughs> wow, Evan. Wow. <laughs> it's just a circle of life. What do you want me to do? No, you're, you're manufacturing my baby's hungry. a circle of life. You're Sorry. manufacturing this baby that doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, help me out, please. Help. Klein tries. Uses his staff to try to help pull her out. Lows it down so she can grab it. And he'll pull her out. So, Matt, with the temporary, am I at one strength or am I being <clears throat> pulled around by whoever? Um. So, because you were broken, someone can make a healing roll. I'll uh, say you can make a I healing. Thought I roll. did. He made. The oh, did you? How many yeah, points? How many points did you give him? Like one success. Okay, so you're at one hit point. Um. You're gonna rest. When you rest, you're gonna go to full strength minus one for each day. So minus one today when you rest, minus two tomorrow, and then you die. Jeez. But like you're sapped because of the poison. You should technically be dead right now. I'm being... Don't, I'm, don't I'm cheese aware. me, Evan. <laughs> you should technically be dead, Ernie. Uh, so I yeah, your strength is going to be sapped by one every day. Until you eventually die on the second day unless you find something or someone to help you. You know, uh, they say about uh, a sick horse, sometimes they say it's best to just put it down. Ernie, if... If you would like, I could do that for you. I know we just met and, uh, you know. He's like, no. Master's Listen, not Calvary, gonna die. I know you don't like me. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, I got I got two days and then, uh, yeah, I'd rather die by the blade than succumbing like a, like a coward to poison. Even though a coward is pretty much what I am. 
<laughs> While everybody is doing this, I'm prying the silver scales off the back of this snake, if possible. Oh, okay. You take your blade and you start kind of like shaving the scales off? Because I know that copperbacks have actual copper yeah, yeah, as yeah. their scales. And so I assume that there's a potential that these are silver scales and mm -hmm. there's, they're potentially silver. No, and it's also point. something I can do from the ground. Make me a, um, a survival roll, please. Oh, God, help us all. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey! I did it! Alright, you get four of these big, massive nice. silver scales off of it. Sweet! Dope. Um. Okay, the sack. The sack has a D8 worth of gold. Nice! A D6 worth of silver. Or rich. And a D8 of copper. Or D, D4 yeah. of copper. Um, there's also, you keep pulling stuff out. It looks like there's a big, almost like cloak, but it's woven out of, it's long, and it looks like it's woven out of almost like grass. But you've never seen grass like this before. I put it on Klein. <laughs> sure. You throw it up over Klein, and as you throw it up over Klein, he almost like, blend, like where it's on him, it blends in with the ferns and the grass and everything around him. Like, you almost see, like, just, like, a floating head there. I don't know oh, if Klein camouflage. actually wants this. I don't know if Klein actually wants this, or if... <laughs> you take it back. <laughs> no, I don't, well, I don't want it. Screw you, Klein. It. Klein, in, he is, seems to be pretty happy about... It wouldn't be terrible gift. for somebody scouting. Yeah, he's like, I can I can really make sure I don't get seen with this now. So it's, you, this is great. Hmm. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, the other thing. I didn't get it for you. I rolled myself down into a hole and nearly got us killed. <laughs> uh, to be yeah. fair, Clive went in. He was on That's the went in first. So. It's a group effort. Seems Teamwork like makes there the dream work. seems to be some person we can blame every time there's a bad scenario. <laughs> Clive's like, it's usually me, but that's fine. Maybe your judgment should shift to something else. It's did Matt say this there was something true. else in the bag? There, there is, is something else in the bag. Uh oh. What is it? Is it antidote? <laughs> it's not antidote. You guys it's are your a antidote. snake egg. Is it another snake? Is it a snake egg? <gasps> yes, can I have a snake egg so I can hatch and eat your rat? No, stop it. <laughs> I'm going to hatch a snake and have the rat ride No, the no, snake. it's my I'm snake so egg. Excited. You can't have all the pets. This is what? not how this works. That's how Pokemon <laughs> works. You gotta catch them all. I am. Oh catch, catch them. my gosh, yes. <laughs> There's not a snake egg. <laughs> the two of you keep going I'm on about so, snakes. I'm so worked up over snake eggs. I'm going to find one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Did we search the snake's pockets for antidote? <laughs> so, you also find a helmet. And mm. it's... it's partial, it's, doesn't it, it's got an open face and it's got wings coming off on either side of the helmet. That's clearly a helmet of cure poison. I put it on Ernie's head. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? Is there a way to put it in chat? My God, dude, she's gonna like give us like cursed items, just putting it on people. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, it looks like oh that. My God. There you go. There's a picture. Ooh. It's beautiful. That looks cool. Vol Voller's helmet. Voller's helmet. Nice. So you find that in there as well. Immaculate craftsmanship, beautiful metal inlaid with gold. Oh my and god. And it's got these big metal wings on either side. I put it on on uh Fury because I want to know what it does. You just put it on Fury? <laughs> Fury uh, you allow this? I, <laughs> by my ears, I feel like okay, I fine. I put it on myself. He, his ears go down like this, like a dog, you know? Uh, <laughs> so I'm I'll, a little bit I'll eager try. to um get moving here. Yeah. Maybe check out the rest of the hex. Uh, well, see we're, if you know, we're at the end of the session. We need to get we're you at the end of the session up. here. But um, uh, so when yeah. you put the helmet on Xena, who, who um, I'll, I'll let her put the helmet on. It's okay. I'm looking at Ernie to heal him. Okay, you look at helmet. You look at Ernie. Oh, okay. Ernie, all of a sudden, right away, you hear Ernie's voice in your head. Ernie, you, she can hear. Three surface thoughts of yours right now. Two are true and one is a lie. What what does she hear? Wow. Oh Damn God. snake's gonna kill me. Um it's too bad Calvair's dead. I really did everything I could to help him. And uh 
And uh, I wonder if there's any civilization nearby. <laughs> oh my god. So you hear this in your head, Xena, and it's like, what, come again? <laughs> to Ernie? Because like, it sounds like he spoke to you. It sounds like he just said these three things to you, like, out loud. Ernie's gotten really good at ventriloquism. Um, I don't know if this is the right helmet for me, because I'm not super smart. So I, I say, this helmet is a, a party game the whole time. We'll what? figure it out later. I put it into oh. a sack, and we can walk away. And figure out, get, get to civilization, since I know Ernie wants to find civilization now. I'm just looking at the need to fix him. Seth, yeah. Klein's become John Cena. You just can't see him. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yep. <laughs> Alpha dog. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. That's the end of the session, though. We're at the end of our time here. So I used to oh, play nice. that song on our streams all the time when we mm -hmm. completed a battle. And then Twitch got all funky with uh, copyright on music. So I don't yeah. play the John Cena song any anymore. Same. Mm. You used to play it also, yeah. Tyler? I loved using it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it's the best. All right. Yeah. So we're at the end of our session. Let's do our roundtables here. People can talk about where you can find them through the week. Jen, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash Gentendo. I play Animal Crossing every morning, but it's actually just a great excuse to play really terrible renditions of popular songs on an automaton. If you don't know what that is, then you just have to you need come to, by and figure it out. You need to tune in. Tomorrow morning. There, There's the link to Jen's Woo, Twitch in the chat. Thank you. Evan, what do you got going on? Uh, Tuesday, we're starting the Skull Kano yeah. Island game at Gar Black Games, which is a, and we're using fifth edition with really high level characters. And I'm not min maxing. Don't worry. Yes, My character is totally yes, is. normal. <laughs> no. Something, something, totally something. Normal. Tasha's? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's um, building something out of Tasha's, of course. I'm not. Mine's out of Xanathar's. Okay. But uh, anyways, yeah, I think it's at nine o'clock, same time as we play. Yeah, here. nine p.m. Central Standard Time on Garbly Games. It's gonna be the North American premiere of Garbly Games. I'm gonna be running it. Evan's playing in it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Tyler, what do you got going on this week? Yeah. Uh, I am running the third episode of Law and Honor on Friday, uh, eight p.m. A st so one hour ahead of what's normally this time what we do for this game um and uh yeah that's what i have going on i have a cool rpg that's clearly based on law and order at some 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 capabilities it's gonna be pretty wild very good bill you got anything you want to plug or talk about yeah you can find me here next week playing ernie for the very last time <laughs> <laughs> for the very last time yeah maybe uh <laughs> uh request for didgeridoo uh into the rotation Jen. i would love of to course play, try a didgeridoo pan flute has also been requested you and kalimba have, you do have an ocarina i do i do <laughs> uh what do i got going on this week so this week you can find me like um evan said garblight games are making our big north american time zone friendly premiere on tuesday so link to that channel. I'm going to run Skullcano Escape from Skullcano Island uh, for Planet X Games using 5th edition. We're going to do that on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we got this next Sunday at 9 p.m. Thank you for everybody who rated us and joined us tonight. Uh, sat along for Forbidden Lands. We uh, had a great time. We love this game. Uh, we almost saw another death, but I was feeling nice should have died mm -hmm. but uh should have died i agree it's not we succeeded it's, on our roles it's uh it can it was, still happen it was lethal <laughs> poison but we'll yeah. see what happens next week so exactly. we'll be back next week as we continue on our hex crawl through this uh island have a great week everybody and we'll see you next sunday bye